Hi, how are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm good, thank you. It looks like you've had a good day so far. So far, so good, yeah. A lot of, a lot of fun uh, things to learn about. Terrific. A lot of talented people in our community. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you. Um, so I think uh, Hazlitt um, is going to introduce you, and then we will let you take it away. Okay, sounds great. Yep. So okay. So next up, yeah, we have Hannah Hurst, otherwise known as the art teacher in quarantine, because of a series of TikToks uh, or videos that she's made for her students at Deerfield Elementary. And we are so excited to have her present to us today about TikTok and how to use it, uh, how to have fun with it. Um, yeah, so take it away, Hannah. Awesome. Well, thank you. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen and I made a little video tutorial, but I'll say also I'm not, I'm definitely not an expert, but I think it's, I think TikTok's just a really amazing app. And um, I know as an art teacher, I am looking forward to probably using it in my classroom as a lesson just because the um, it's such an amazing creative platform. So um, I'll show you the video that I need and then we'll do a Q and A afterwards. And um, again, I'm kind of like, I'm relatively new to TikTok. I just started using it this spring and my um, teenage daughter sort of taught me a little bit how to use it. Um, and it can be super easy or it can be super complex, but it can also be super easy just to watch. If you're someone that just wants to enjoy yourself, there's endless laughs and fun. So anyway, so I'll share my screen and show you this. There we go. Five. Hi, welcome to TikTok 101. I am your trusty teacher today. Uh, my name is Hannah Hurst, and I am also known as the art teacher in quarantine. I'm the art teacher at Deerfield Elementary School, and I'm super excited to be here today to tell you everything about TikTok. Uh, but I have to preface this by saying I really don't know everything about TikTok. In fact, I only probably have like a couple of followers. So if you get on TikTok, which you're going to do after you watch this amazing TikTok tutorial, be sure to follow me, Art Teacher in Quarantine. Um, now, down to business. First of all, this session is for everybody. If, well, unless you're an expert TikTok user, then you should just go off and make some cool TikToks for us to watch later. But if you are somebody that has no idea what TikTok is and you want to know, I'm going to tell you about it. Maybe you're someone who um, is curious. Maybe your kids are on TikTok and you've wondered what are they doing and what is this thing? Maybe you're a kid and you're just really wanting to be on TikTok and maybe your parents haven't let you and you don't understand why and you want to show them this to convince them that TikTok is the place for you, then you'll want to watch this. Maybe you're just curious in general. Whatever the case may be, we're going to learn today about number one, what is TikTok? Number two, how do I get on TikTok? And number three, how do I make a TikTok? Where do I even begin? So let's get started. Before you do anything else, you'll need to go to the App Store and download the app TikTok. Honestly, I think the best way to show you what TikTok is, if you don't already know, is to see some examples. No, I didn't get that done. No, but I am almost to 50 followers on TikTok. And I can almost nail the savage dance. So I have I have been working. It is a endless stream of really fascinating things to watch. So if you're someone that just wants to enjoy the app or maybe see what your children or grandchildren or friends are posting on TikTok, it's also a place for that. 
and some of it is hysterically funny. They tried to put me on the cover of Vogue. My legs were too long. Every day is leg day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thighs, calves. Some of it is just downright charming, but typically you're seeing people, mostly young people, but not entirely, in their homes doing things that are sometimes amazing, like gymnasts and dancers. Or sometimes just really adorable. I said, and he was like, ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, what in the world? Don't do it here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really? I got the same thing. <laughs> we think a lot alike, huh? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Right. So basically, TikTok is just, well, it's like the Wild West. And you might find comedy, you might find music, you might find dance, you never know what you're going to find, which is part of what makes it so fresh and completely engaging. Now that we know what TikTok is, let's get started. Number one, you're going to launch the TikTok app. So TikTok works by scrolling up to navigate and to flip through different videos. At the very top of the screen, you'll see it says For You. This is your For You page. So these are where videos will show up that are recommended for you based on what you've been liking and watching. So whatever it is that you may be engaging with, you'll get more of that in this feed. You'll also notice that there are videos from the people you follow on the other side where it says following. These are basically your subscriptions. Now, at the bottom, you'll see there's a username, hashtags, and the song used for each and every video. If you click on the song, it'll show you all of the people who have used the song. You can save it, you can see people that are using it, and you can save it for later, or just jump in and create something using that sound. You can also swipe to view someone's profile. So you can see on their profile page all of the videos that they have made. And there's a little number on each video showing you how many times that video has been viewed. You can also see how many times each video has been liked, commented on, and shared. You can also do that when you watch the video. The home button gives you a fresh new feed. So every time you hit it, you'll get new videos to watch. The uh, hashtags will show you what is trending on TikTok, what the featured hashtags are at the top, and then you'll see uh, labeled hashtags that are the most popular will come up. You can also do a search for hashtags if there's something you are specifically interested in, like say, ugly sweaters or dogs, whatever it may be, you can do a search for that. So hashtags on TikTok are very, very important. So I hope I haven't completely confused you at this point, but I thought we would jump in and take a quick look at how to make TikToks. Sometimes uh, you'll see professional filmmakers making TikToks and that looks something like this. <laughs> Oh, 
But most people do not have that kind of equipment. And to be honest, I think the TikToks that probably get the most love are ones that are just made just using your phone at home by regular people, which is why it is such a fun platform and one that's really um, waiting for your creativity. So here's a couple that I've made that are just super, super easy with nothing more than a phone. Okay, I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house board. Bored in the house and I'm in the house board. I'm bored in the mug and I'm in the house board and I'm bored in the mug and I'm in the house board. Bored in the house, bored in the house, board, bored in the house, bored in the house, board. I'm bored in the mug and I'm in the Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not gonna do it. I did it. So let's take a quick look at how to make a TikTok. This is David who made the uh, the other video that I was showing you and he pressed the plus at the very bottom of his TikTok screen and it automatically comes up with this live preview. Uh, and then he's selecting his sounds. Uh, when you go into the sound library, there are a million different sounds to choose from. Uh, and then he's also showing you here with the arrows that you can flip your camera around. You can add a uh, beautify effect to make uh, your uh, everything look very beautiful. Uh, but I will add that TikTok is always filmed in this vertical position. So your phone is always up down. Uh, there's a million different filters that you can use as you're filming uh, for different effects. Uh, and then he's showing you that you can also do your recording uh, in regular real time, or you can slow it down. You can slow it down two times or three times. So if you're doing a lip sync that is uh, particularly hard to remember the words and you need to stop it midway through, sometimes it's nice to just do it very slowly uh, and it makes it look more realistic. Uh, so here, again, he's showing you all the different music in the uh, music library and how to select those. You can also add them to your favorites, so you can come back later if you hear something you like. You can save it and then come back later and use it to create a little video. So I'm going to stop this here because there are a million tutorials on how to actually make the TikToks uh, if you get online, but I wanted to stop it. I know I've given you so much information, everything from what in the world TikTok even is to kind of how to start to make them, but not in full detail. So I'd like to stop it now and open up for any questions or comments. I know I've given you a lot to look at and think about today, so you might not leave this tutorial being like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make a TikTok right this second, but I hope that it's given you a really good overview. So I'm gonna turn this off and let me hear your questions. All right, sorry it sounded like I repeated myself at the end, but um, that's sort of a, an overview of how the app works. Do you have questions or um, comments or anything? Well, thank you so much, Hannah. That was so fantastic. Um, we do have some questions coming in. So it looks like your first question is, um, isn't this similar to what YouTube does? So how is it different from YouTube? Oh, that's a great question. You know, um, uh, TikTok is mostly very, very short videos. The longest video that you can make on TikTok is 60 seconds. And typically, the videos that um, people are making are 15 seconds. So they're really, really brief. And YouTube is, you know, a platform that's made for much longer videos. I mean, of course, you could post short ones. But this is also more of a in contrast to YouTube, it's more of a social media platform. So there's an, um, you know, you have followers and you follow other people. So there's this interconnectivity that happens that's different than YouTube. But that's a really good question because it's similar. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. They do kind of seem similar, like on the face, but there are some parts that are really different. Okay, next, someone wants to know, um, does TikTok cost any money? 
Oh, that's a great question. That's the best part. It's totally free. It's a totally free app. And um, occasionally there's ads on it, but it's free. And it's also one of those ad, um, one of those apps that there are people that actually make content for TikTok and are paid for it. You know, people that get really good at it, get sponsors and, um, you know, it could, it could be a job. So no, it, it is free. Oops, sorry, I was muted. Next up, someone is wondering, um, can I preview the video before posting? I'm confused about how to record or lip sync slowly. Can you explain more? Oh, that's such a good question. And I struggled with that the first, definitely like the first few TikToks I made. I still, it's still really hard. <laughs> um, when you're doing um, lip syncing, uh, I'll answer the second part of the question and then come back to the first. When you're doing lip syncing, um, it's really helpful to slow down the recording. So if you go to two times or three times, and then it will go to another screen when you start recording, and you can slide the little, there's a little slider that you can slide over so you can do it in chunks. So I'll typically try and do it in like one or two chunks. So you get the first part right, and you kind of freeze so that you're not moving, and then do the second part. So you record it in pieces. And then, um, so that definitely helps with that piece. Um, and then I think the second part of your question was, can you record it and then like come back to it later? You do have to record it all at once, but you can save it as a draft and then come back later um, before you actually post it and make it public. Or sometimes with some things that I've made, because I often make my TikToks for my video series, for my um, for teaching elementary school art, I pop TikToks in to make it a little bit more fun. And sometimes when I do that, I'll actually save the TikTok, excuse me, the TikTok just to myself and not make it public because sometimes they wouldn't make sense for if anybody else watched them, they would be like, this is so weird. So sometimes I just save them for myself. So if you can set it to private, and then it just saves to your phone, which is kind of a nice feature. Cool. Yeah, that was like, that was a really extensive answer to that question of, yeah, can you preview a TikTok? So it sounds like there's a lot of different options. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, there's a lot of different options with that. But I, I totally understand that because you kind of want to, you want to see it before you put it out there and make sure it's really something that you feel good about. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, we still have a lot of questions coming in. So um, next question, how have you used it in your elementary art classroom with your students? Oh, um, well, I've, I've done that. Uh, let's see, I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, I did a whole video, show, like a 10 minute video on Georgia O'Keeffe. So it was about Georgia O'Keeffe, about her life and her work. And then the culmination of the video is a lesson for the students to do or whoever's watching it to do. And so I um, made it so that uh, basically I had to develop a storyline. And so I was doing TikToks sort of with Georgia O'Keeffe or as Georgia O'Keeffe just to make her character come to life for kids. I'm always trying to like speak their language <laughs> so that it's entertaining. So just purely for entertainment sake. Yeah, so I did things like I had Georgia O'Keeffe. I um, lip synced to a song, and the idea was she was singing it for Alfred Stieglitz, who was her um, husband. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah, and for anyone who hasn't already seen some of these videos, some of these TikToks, they are they are really cool. They're really fun, and they're worth watching. And you'll learn a lot about art. Oh, art. thank you. Um, so next. Uh, does it take long to learn a dance? Yes. Oh, my goodness. That's such a good question. Yes. <laughs> Unless you're a dancer, there are lots of, like, people that come naturally to moving their body and dancing, like, doing a set dance, because there are a lot of, um, you know, trending dances on TikTok. And um, I learned one, and to be fair, it was based on the Macarena, it wasn't Macarena, which I should have learned in the 1990s and did not. And I, I swear it took me like two hours. <laughs> it took me forever. And I was watching YouTube tutorials at the same time trying to do it. So it can, unless you're just like wired to dance. If you're a dancer, you'll be amazing at it. Cool. Yeah. And that's part of what's so amazing about some of these TikTok videos. It's like people are really talented. Yeah. 
And until so you try it time. yourself, yeah. And until you try it yourself, you might not know. Sure. Um, okay, next question. How do you find your friends' accounts on TikTok? Oh, that's a really good question. You know, I'm not totally sure. Um, you can search for people, but I often will ask my friend, like, I don't have that many friends on it because it does tend to draw a much younger audience, although not entirely. So I like my school principals on TikTok, which I think is super cool. And, um, uh, and, and another, a couple of other teachers. And so I just asked them what their uh, handle was, you know, so I'm at art teacher in quarantine and then they have similar handles that are not their real names so i usually just ask but there's probably a better way to do that yeah there might be a search somewhere there must be a search yeah yeah um and you just told us your tag to follow you on the app is at art teacher in quarantine right mm -hmm. okay yeah. um, and then um the next question, you know, talking about dancing, can you show us one of the dances that you do? Maybe the oh, Macarena? You know, I don't even know if I remembered. It was like three months ago when I made that. So I, I, I should probably not, but it was really good. I, I will promise you it was really solid. Yeah, and it's out there. We can find it, right? <laughs> yes, you can definitely find it. You can find me on TikTok and, and see it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely do not have to dance on this. <laughs> I just love that someone asked. That's great. <laughs> so next question. Um, when you sign up for a TikTok account, should you use your real name? Oh, gosh. Um, that's such a good question. And I guess it depends on your role in the world. You know, I think for kids, you should probably ask your parents what they're comfortable with. And I think for grown-ups, um, it's up to you if you want if you want people in your community to to see you doing your TikToks, or if you'd prefer to keep them private. <laughs> in the end, though, people see your face. So if they don't know your name, they'll still see your face, and they might know you. If that was the reason why you didn't want to have your name associated with it, right? That makes a lot of sense. Um. So I have a question um, while we wait for some other ones to come in. Um, what got you inspired to start using TikTok in the first place? Like oh, when yeah. you started these, yeah, the series. Well, the funny thing is, um, so I have three kids uh, and they're all basically teenagers and they had been on TikTok for a long time, not making TikToks, but watching TikTok. So I would often hear it and ask, what are you watching? What is that? So I think I was genuinely curious. Uh, and I was always actually a little bit negative about it, just assuming it was just some, I don't know, just another social media site. And so I was always telling them to get off of it. But um, during quarantine, I had a little bit of extra time and got curious and took a look. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm hooked. This is the most entertaining, fun, creative outlet ever. So yeah, that's how I got into it. Cool. That is really cool that you were open to, I mean, the whole thing, right? To learning this new platform. Yeah. It's, I have to say it's, it's so much, I mean, it, it's like a hundred times more fun than Instagram or Facebook, you know, these other ways that we connect with people uh, just because it's, it's really raw because genuinely like it's people in their houses doing things, whether they're lip syncing or dancing or um, just doing amazing gymnastics or whatever it is. It's cool to see people in their houses doing their crazy thing. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, another question for you, can TikToks be shared on Facebook and Instagram? Yeah, they can be. So you can save your TikTok um, to your phone and there's a special, um, like you can, you can also save it so it saves in the format that would fit on Instagram. Um, and then you can take that same video and share it on Facebook or Instagram. Yeah, it's super easy. Cool, okay. Um, do you have thoughts about how TikTok might impact dance or filmmaking or some other form of art in the future? Oh my goodness, I love that question. Yes, I think that um, I think that it could impact a lot of things. You know, like I said at the very beginning, 
I'm going to probably teach a lesson on TikTok in my classroom, which sounds a little crazy, but it's an amazing introduction to filmmaking. The formatting of it and the way that you piece together a video is like the very basics of filmmaking. So it's great for that. So I could see it changing that for sure. And it also changes the way we see things because it's very, very, it's fast paced. It's little short bites. So you don't have to get completely engaged, which I think is like that's our modern world, right? We're kind of fast and um, these quick little fixes. Um, and I think for art, there's so much, there's, uh, and for like for dancers or for actors, there's just so much that you could play with in this, uh, on this platform. So yeah, I think definitely. Cool, that is really exciting. Like to hear you talk about it is, is really cool. Yeah, yeah, I just think it's, it is really just, uh, surprisingly, I've, I've been very surprised at what a cool, just, there's just so many things on it. And it's, there's so much diversity in terms of like people dancing or people singing or just, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, next up, we have a question about um, like the content on TikTok. Uh, is the majority of it, would you say like appropriate maybe for all viewers? Oh, I'm glad someone asked this. Um, you know what? I would say no. Yeah, I would say no to that. <laughs> I, I mean, I think it depends on the, the age of the person. But I would say that um, even just when I made this video, I was being really careful to select TikToks and pieces that would be um, appropriate for, for kids. There are um, a lot of songs with, um, you know, with bad language there's uh and then occasionally the same with uh voiceovers and things so i would say there's some language um but i definitely wouldn't say it's i would let my kids say over the age of 10 be on it so like that's that's how i weigh it yeah cool um okay we have what one more question maybe um what are some favorite tiktok accounts or people that you like to follow Oh, um, the woman that was in the video that I just that I made for you guys, the dancer, and I'm blanking on her name. Um, she's extraordinary. Uh, she and her husband are amazing dancers, and they often bring their family into it. And they're just really fun to watch because they're very, um, they're very professional. Uh, I also really like to watch my principal posts the funniest tick. She's very hilarious and she posts the funniest TikToks. So I love it because it sometimes it'll show you a different side to people than maybe you knew. So even just my watching my friends uh, post things, th those are some of my favorites too, just because I know them. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's great. Well, um, we don't have any more questions right now, but so we can follow you on TikTok, right? At yes. Our teacher in quarantine. Can we just get on TikTok like on a computer without an account or do you have to make an account to watch? Yeah, you have to make an account. Yeah. You have to make an account to watch them. And I don't I don't think you can watch them on the computer. I think it's only for mobile. Only on a phone. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, so for all of the listeners, you know, go make your TikTok account right now. That's um, right. Yeah. Thank you so much, Hannah. This was really, it was really interesting, really fun. Thank you. Yeah. And thank everybody for, uh, for participating. This was super fun. Great questions. Can't wait to see your TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Hannah. Thank you. We'll see you Bye. soon. Thanks so much. See you later. See you later.